Hey, what is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with a data mines video thanks to yours truly here being Tana. If you guys haven't already, please give his channel a like uh, as well as follow his Discord. Um, absolutely a huge, amazing resource in the community because Tana is always the first uh, person to really be able to get into those data mines, details of what's to come, uh, any advantage that we can get as players in terms of what's upcoming, what to save. Uh, this is huge, especially him spending his time. So uh, thank you so much, Tana. That said, let's get right to it, guys. So um, um, he just actually posted this uh, in the last few minutes here going through in terms of what's upcoming guys so the nice thing about these data mines is that we get to see what's in for the information that's in the game before it becomes live to us likely in the marvel strike force blog post or other announcements made in the inbox so you can see here this next one being the shopping spree uh, it is essentially a gold orb opening event so in this special event we're going to be opening gold orbs collecting milestones points from the daily exclusive offers uh, that also cost power cores, gold, raid credits, and war credits to open. So this, these are going to record um, allow us to have rewards, including the tour victory flags, the tactical belts, uh, gold and silver promotions, a five red of Iron Man, if you guys haven't already. Uh, and I'm interested uh, on what this shards of famous Marvel business characters will be. So I wonder if it's going to be, you know, like the uh, the alternate costume of uh, She-Hulk uh, in her lawyer form. But yeah, that remains to be uh, told, guys, until that information comes to hand for us. Next up, we have Forces of Nature here. So this one's going to be earning points by collecting Green Guardian Orb Fragments, uh, specifically from the Daily Objective and Alliance donation. So again, uh, running in tandem with the month-long event, it's going to allow us the Victory Flags, the Commando Mask Featured Item, Training Mats, Leaf 5 Materials, and as well as uh, Namor's Talokan Costume. Um, that's pretty big if you guys haven't unlocked that yet. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. We got the Immortal Invader here, essentially earning fragments by battling in Blitz and from the Clips of Kalan and Fist of Rage milestones to earn points. So you can see here, what's notable about this uh, milestone is that this is going to be the one that features uh, Iron Fist World War II character shards, uh, in addition to the Victory Flags, uh, Union Jacket featured item, and Mini Unique. So um, you can see here then that it seems like this event is going to be kind of similar to what we've seen before with battling in Blitz, getting those fragments that then add up to the orbs containing shards hopefully, of, uh, of Iron Fist World War II. You can see here with the Clips Kanlon, that's going to run in tandem with this. We're spending power cores to also earn points toward the seven-day milestone, uh, also giving us fragments as well, adding uh, to, the, to the milestones there. Uh, we have another Fist of Rage here, spending campaign energy and ISO 8. So uh, business as usual, it doesn't seem like um, it does anything else besides rewarding the Immortal Ally or Fragments. Good to know. Uh, we have the Spoils of War, battling in war to earn ISO 8 Ions, ISO 8 Orbs, and Royal Soldier progression towards the month-long event. We have Radioactive Run, um, spending ISO 8 Energy. And then we have Tax Day Special, which is powering up the roster uh, and getting resources to help you take your roster to the next level. So to be honest with you, this, this sounds like a deal, uh, a pay-to-play deal here, just because of the fact that it says powering up. So we'll see what that entails. It doesn't sound like it's an actual milestone or event. But uh, here you can see that the Iron Fist World War II additional details and what he's going to be doing is obviously in rates. Um, being part of that Invaders Raid meta team. Um, we already got confirmation that his Red, his Red Star Orb is coming out in a few days as well. So looking forward to that. Uh, and these new hard campaign chapters, we did see in the last week's uh, blog post that there was going to be the addition of Morbius coming, Spider-Man Noir, uh, which I really like because of him benefiting Spider-Weaver. We got She-Hulk, even though she's already accessible in Blitz. But Black Panther 1MM, I really like the fact that they're adding him in um, now that we got you know, uh, an opportunity to farm more shards of him being part of uh, that War Dogs team and being quite formidable in Cosmic Crucible as well. Uh, and what's really cool is these, these save squads update on the web store, guys. So um, this is, I think this is going to streamline a lot of different uh, ways that we can share as a community. You can see now that going forward, uh, we're going to have this opportunity to create and edit save squads and, and allow the ability that you share them out. So uh, huge for absolutely creating some, you know, uh, ranges of Blitz teams, sharing that information out, I think is absolutely massive to benefit the community, saves people time. Um, and there, it just, it's just a great way to finally uh, revise this in a robust manner as opposed to doing it very uh, archaically in the game right manually adjusting and hitting the save and then sorting it like that uh, i think the use of marvelstrikeforce.com the fusion of msf.gg uh, really allowing us that opportunity to thrive and take advantage of a better um, um, ui system so uh, we also have this battle of Bucky Barnes earning awards here, guys. So you can see here, this is his actual 
uh, showcase event. Uh, it's going to be consisting of the story challenge, which we've already seen typically before. Uh, nothing different with the story, uh, requiring both Rebirth and Invader characters, no minimum characters required. However, with the challenge aspect, uh, we are going to need Bucky Barnes himself, Union Jack, Captain America World War II, and on top of that, any combination of two Invader or Rebirth characters. So again, uh, these are the new scourges in the game. So uh, this is how we're going to be kind of building towards the minimum requirements of being partaking in this event up until the very end of the showcases. So uh, obviously with Bucky Barnes event coming up as well, uh, we're going to be able to take advantage of shards. But I'm curious if this is going to line up uh, before that though. So it seems likely that this event is going to be happening uh, before most folks will have the opportunity to unlock Bucky Barnes, but hopefully it, there's going to be some um, alignment there for us, uh, that opportunity to hopefully be able to dive into this event. Other than that, we know that Iron Fist World War II is coming up as well. Again, with those Immortal Ally or Orb Fragments, Battling in Blitz, and uh, the Clips of Kunlun and Fist of Rage Milestone. So um, that's it for now, guys. Uh, a short and brief update here, but what to expect. Uh, make sure you're saving up those training gold orbs, but uh, lots and lots of uh, activities going on here, especially if you want to partake in these showcases uh, leading up to the very conclusion of this Invaders Incursion team. So thank you as always. Do keep me posted. And I'll see you guys in the next one.